Are there things that Cuba and Venezuela do that are worth of criticism? Of course. Have they done things that we wouldn't want them to do, that a decent society shouldn't do? You betcha. They are not perfect. They are not the solution to the human problem. And they make mistakes, sometimes big ones, and they make people suffer. All true. All true. But you are no way going to undo two to three centuries of capitalist inequality, deeply ingrained in the consciousness of your people, by making a social change that has no blemishes, has no failures, has no cruelties. That's not going to happen. We might wish it, and I certainly do. And we might say it's important to point out the mistakes that the Cubans and the Venezuelans have made and are making. Fair enough. But once you understand the context, you will understand that the big problem facing Latin America is not Cuba and not Venezuela, neither of their regimes. They don't even have the history to justify it. The history is on the side of saying the big problem of the economic backwardness, inequality, and instability of Latin America. There the credit belongs where the credit is due. It's the capitalist system that has produced and reproduced their poverty, their misery, their inequality. If that isn't dealt with, you are going to have one revolution after another as we have already seen. The future will be as the past has been. And will the United States each time be entering and trying to stop and control what in the end will win? The demand of people for an economic system that does not perform in the future as it has in the past. The overwhelming majority of people of, in Latin America want out of a system that has brought them the kind of suffering, the kind of inequality that is in fact behind the migration of people north to the United States because the conditions where they are are unbearable. That, too, is a product of a capitalist system brought to Latin America and South America by Europeans, left there, managed now by their own elites, their wealthy elites. This is not a sustainable situation. And finding fault with Cuba and Venezuela for how they have managed to get out of this situation is an inappropriate cheap shot that doesn't belong if you understand the economics of that part of the world.